Chapter 27 Understanding our criminal justice system Let's learn Theft a case study The police Guidelines for the police First information report Criminal justice Sushant Khandilwal lives in Rohini in Delhi One night while he was out with his family His house was robbed When they returned they found the door open all their money and jewellery were missing and their servant was fast asleep in his terrace room. Sushant woke up his servant and asked him if he had committed the theft. Sushant's servant claimed that he was innocent. Sushant went to the police station and filed the first information report. The servant was arrested for the theft. The police filed a charge sheet in the magistrate's court. The court gave a copy of the charge sheet including statements of witnesses to the servant and then the case was presented before the judge. The servant told the court that he had no lawyer to defend him against the false case of theft. The magistrate appointed advocate Jen as the servant's defense lawyer at the government's expense. Advocate Jen met the servant in the court and took the case papers. The public prosecutor appeared in the case on behalf of the state. He presented Sushant and his family as a key witness. Advocate Jain examined their neighbours and others as defence witness. The police then started investigating the case. The police questioned neighbours and the other people in the neighbourhood. After some days, the robbers were caught. It was not Sushant's servant. The judge heard the testimony of all the witnesses. After the testimony of the police, Advocate Jen argued before the judge that it was clear that the servant was innocent. Therefore, he should be acquitted. From the above incident, we can see that the four key players in the criminal justice system are the police, the public prosecutor, the defense lawyer and the judge. Our constitution states that every individual charged of a crime deserves a fair trial whether he is guilty or not. According to Article 22 of the Constitution, every person has a fundamental right to be defended by a lawyer. Article 39A of the Constitution places a duty upon the state to provide a lawyer to any citizen who is unable to engage one due to poverty or other disability. Let's understand our criminal justice system, the key people concerned in it, and the legal procedure involved. InfoHive the right to fair trial is an essential right in all countries which respect the rule of law. The police. The parliament makes laws and these need to be enforced properly and effectively. The government enforces the laws through a number of agencies. The police are the primary law enforcement agency and are responsible for preventing crime, investigating crime, upholding the law, maintaining public order. The police are the first to be involved in a criminal case. They are responsible for conducting criminal investigations. Police investigations always have to be conducted in accordance with the law and with full respect for human rights. At the investigation stage, police gather and review information to figure out what happened. This may involve, for example, examining the place where the crime occurred and talking to victims and witnesses. Based on what they learn, the police decide whether there is enough evidence to prove an accused's commission of a crime. Guidelines for the police The police are not over and above the law. The Code of Conduct for the Police states that the police must abide by the Constitution of India. The Supreme Court has laid down guidelines that the police must follow at the time of arrest, detention and interrogation. The investigation begins when a crime or an incident is reported or known to police. Some of these guidelines are The time, the place of arrest and the venue of custody of the person accused should be noted by the police. The police are not allowed to torture or beat or shoot anyone during investigation. The accused should be made aware of his rights immediately after the arrest. A boy under 15 years of age and women cannot be called to the police station only for questioning. The right to be presented before a magistrate within 24 hours of arrest. The right not to be ill-treated or tortured during arrest or in custody. Confessions made in police custody cannot be used as evidence against the accused. 
Info Hive. The Tihar jail in Delhi is the largest prison complex in South Asia. Several reform measures have been introduced in the jail to help the inmates to return to mainstream society. First information report. A first information report FIR is a written document prepared by the police officer on duty. The law states that it is compulsory for an officer in charge of a police station to register an FIR whenever a person gives information. This information can be given to the police either orally or in writing. Any person who is a victim of an offence or who is a witness to any such offence or who has knowledge about the commission of any such offence can lodge an FIR. How to file an FIR? A proper procedure to file an FIR is as follows. When information about the commission of a cognizable offence is given orally, the police must write it down. It is your right as a person giving information or making a complaint to demand that the information recorded by the police is read over to you. Once the information has been recorded by the police, it must be signed by the person giving the information. You should sign the report only after verifying that the information recorded by the police is as per the details given by you. An FIR should be filed with the officer in charge of the concerned police station or an assistant sub-inspector therein. People who cannot read or write must put their left thumb impression on the document after being satisfied that it is a correct record. Always ask for a copy of the FIR if the police do not give it to you. It is your right to get it free of cost. What should be mentioned in the FIR? Your name and address, date, time and location of the incident you are reporting. The true facts of the incident as they occurred, description of the crime, names and descriptions of the persons involved in the incident, witnesses if any, the section of the law that applies to the offence. What if the officer in charge refuses to file an FIR? When a person approaches the police to file an FIR, stating that a certain right of his has been violated or crime has been committed against him or her family, it is the duty of the police to file it. As a matter of fact, the police cannot refuse to file an FIR. If the officer in charge refuses to file an FIR, the information may be sent in writing through post to the superintendent of police or other higher officers. Also, a person can approach the court of law directly for it. Defense Lawyer The accused is given the opportunity to defend himself. He can hire a lawyer of his choice to defend the case. This lawyer is known as the defense lawyer. The defense lawyer can cross-examine the witnesses and also ask the court to summon witnesses to prove that the accused is not guilty. Public Prosecutor The lawyer who presents the complainant's case is known as the public prosecutor. He presents the case of the complainant and is appointed by the state. He presents all the facts and evidences before the court to prove that the accused is guilty. Brain Tickler Who is known as the accused? Criminal Justice Criminal justice is the system of practices and institutions of governments directed at upholding social control, deterring and mitigating crime, or sanctioning those who violate laws with criminal penalties and rehabilitation efforts. Those accused of crime have protections against abuse of investigatory and prosecution powers. The procedures of a civil case and a criminal case are different. In matters of family and property disputes, the involved parties approach the court and the court settles the matter. When an incident like a crime or accident occurs, it is the duty of the police to investigate into it and if it warrants the attention of the court of law, bring it before it. After an FIR has been filed, the accused is arrested based on the statements made by witnesses and all available evidences collected by the police. The police then files a charge sheet to the court against the accused person. Even after the accused is arrested, the police needs to follow certain protocol during detention and interrogation. The accused can also be granted bail if a bail order is obtained by the defense lawyer. Brain Tickler In India, why do people avoid going to the police? 
there are two lawyers involved the defense lawyer who fights the trial for the accused and the public prosecutor who fights the trial against the accused in an open court a defense lawyer is arranged for by the government on its own expense in case the accused is in no position to do so in order to ensure a fair trial the public prosecutor who represents the state must present all the facts witnesses and evidences against the accused to the court the defense lawyer too presents witnesses and evidences if any to the court in favor of the accused the defense lawyer is also allowed to cross examine all the prosecution witnesses and verify all the evidences again the final decision of whether the accused is guilty or innocent based on the evidence provided by both lawyers is taken by the judge in case the judge finds the accused to be guilty of the crime he or she is charged with based on evidences statement of witnesses and arguments of lawyers the accused is awarded punishment the quantum of which varies with the nature and seriousness of the crime in india an accused is presumed innocent unless proved guilty in a court of law the police prosecution defense and the judge all play a key role in criminal justice system in india each of them must ensure that they carry out their responsibilities in a fair and unbiased manner to guarantee impartial justice to all citizens recap according to article 22 of the constitution Every person has a fundamental right to be defended by a lawyer. It is with the registration of an FIR that the police can begin their investigations into a crime. The police arrest the accused after they get sufficient evidence against the suspect during the course of their investigation. The lawyer who presents the complainant's case is known as the public prosecutor. The police the public prosecutor the defense lawyer and the judge must ensure that they carry out their responsibilities in a fair and unbiased manner to guarantee impartial justice to all citizens